Hello, and welcome to a series of instructional videos about the basics of midair. These videos will be split into three parts, with part one about movement and weapons, part two covering game modes in the server browser, and part three a brief overview of the CTF game type. To start things off, let's take a look at the jetpack. The jetpack, on your right mouse button, is one of your main sources of movement in midair, drawing energy from your energy pool when in use. It works in tandem with your directional keys to apply momentum in the direction you are pressing. To gain momentum straight up, hold jet with no directional keys. It is important not to hold W until you have reached your desired height. This is similar to the movement systems of Tribes 1 and 2. Players from Tribes Ascend will notice the greatly reduced free air control. In other words, you don't get nearly as much directional control without using your jets. To those unfamiliar with thrust vectoring, it may take an adjustment period, but you will ultimately have more control of your movement than you would otherwise. The second source of movement is from skating, where your boots become frictionless, allowing you to glide across terrain using it to gain speed and or change direction. Say you're starting at the top of a hill, Simply approach the downward slope and press spacebar to glide down. As you start going up the other side, you'll want to use your jetpack to propel yourself up and onto the next slope. You can use valleys to change your direction by applying directional keys while tapping your jets. Skating is as second nature in midair as strafing is in other FPS games. If you're not indoors, you should probably be skating. Unlike most FPS games, Midair features predominantly projectile-based weapons. These weapons each have their own set of inheritance values. For example, the chain gun has 100% inheritance. This means that if you are, say, chasing a capper at high speeds, your bullets will inherit your momentum, meaning you have to lead the target less in order for your bullets to make it. It's important to get a feel for how each weapon behaves under different movement conditions. A few weapons can also be used to propel yourself forward. Primarily, the ring launcher can be used to shoot the ground just behind you, launching you into the air. Called ring jumping, or more commonly from Tribes games, disc jumping, it is a highly effective tool for gaining speed in a pinch. The grenade launcher can also be used, though mastering the timing of the explosive is more of a challenge than ring jumping. A similar technique can be used for heavies with the mortar. This concludes part one of the Midair Basics instructional series. Continue on to part 2 to learn about the server browser, commands, and the various game types you'll play in midair.